Hi. Princess. Hi. Who are you? Oh, I'm Onine. And you are? Christabel. Who is that? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Onine AZ. Oh, you're the maid from the agency? Yes. Yeah. Do come in. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Well, I'd rather be called Mr. Shadra. Okay, Mr. Shadra. Yeah. So the agency must have briefed you about your work. You'll be working as a chef, housekeeper, and a nursemaid. It's not a living. <laughs> it's not a living job, meaning that you resume at 6 a.m. and you'll be going off at 7 p.m. Okay. You'll be free at noon when she's gone to school. But you resume by 2 p.m. when she's back from school. Okay. And you'll not be working on the weekends. Okay, no problem, Mr. Shepard. Okay. This is my beautiful daughter, Christabel. Yes, I met her. Very smart kid. Hi, yeah. Christabel. Ooh, okay. And Christabel, this is Oyenge. She'll be taking care of you from today. Yes. <laughs> She'll get used to you with time. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, um, you resume on Monday. All right. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. All right. We'll take my leave now. Okay. All right. Do take care. Thank you, sir. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yes, sweetie. Please, I need assistance with my assignments. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me be done with this and I'll jump on it, okay? Okay. Daddy, why do we need another nanny? Because we need one, sweetie. But we have Auntie Gloria. <laughs> Auntie Gloria is now married, and she's moving with her husband. So she's not coming back? No, she's not. But I don't like that woman. I'm a big girl. I can't take care of myself. <laughs> and big girls need assistance with their assignments? Hmm? Hmm? Daddy? Hmm? <laughs> don't worry. Mrs. Oyin will take really good care of you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oops. It's okay. And magic. Hey babe. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Ah, where did you go now? I was trying your number. You weren't picking up. Ah, forgotten and Saturdays on the football. Our subscription has expired, so I quickly came on to grab something to be fine for the next one. Okay. Right. Well, I've been going through this job vacancies and I've seen the ones you qualified for. So these are the ones Why I Why are you wasting your time? You know how many of these interviews I've been to since I lost my job? These people never get back to me. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we should give up. Stop wasting your time. I'm not doing it. So how do we cope? Well, that reminds me. How did today go? That's wonderful. That, that's good news. At least now we have one source of income. Don't worry. I'll figure something for myself out soon. Okay? Let me get some.
I can do it myself. Okay. Good job. I don't need your opinion. Who are you standing there? Don't have anything else to do. Well, I can't leave until you're ready for school. Okay. Let me help you with this. I can do it by myself. Can we be friends, please? No. No? Why not? Because I don't like you, Ouch. duh. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, I think you don't like me because you don't know me. I mean, maybe if you get to know me just a tiny little bit, I think you'd like me very much. I doubt that. Okay. I said I can do it by myself. Okay. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't need me? I don't need help. Don't bring your hair up. I said I could do it myself. Get your filthy hands off my shoes. I've already told you, but I don't want to tell you I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just see if she's right. Okay, it's for you. Oh, no, that's fine. I'll help myself. Oh. Thank you. Too hot. Get me some cold water. Christabel, what do you say? Please. It's fine. Okay, miss. Here you go. All right. Christabel, what do you say? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your meal. We will. Thank you. Daddy, why do we have to thank her? She's a maid. Christabel, learn to respect people, okay? But she's a poor woman. You don't call people poor. It's wrong. And I'm not raising you to be rude. I'm sorry, Dad. That's good. Everyone deserves respect, whether rich or poor. Now eat your food so you're not late for school. Okay? Yeah. yeah, um, you're quite early today. I love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just uh, hired the domestic staff to help ease things off at the house. Okay, great. And how is Belle? How is she taking all of this? Uh, she's she's a, she's fine. She's fine. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice suits, by the way. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome. All right, see you around. Um. 
right? So what would you like to eat? None of your business. You know it's not right to speak to others that way, right? It's not polite. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Let me help you. Leave me alone. You made my dad scold me this morning. Leave our house. I don't want to hear anymore. So you don't need my help? You can't do it all by yourself. Go to your house. You need my help. <sighs> I just feel like I need to come and make the work a bit challenging. <laughs> We've been dealing with kids over the years. She's just one small brand. And if she stresses you too much, smack her. Hmm, a brand on you. She's just a child. And I'm sure she'll come around. I mean, not every child just gets so close to a stranger. Mm -hmm. It'll take time. Mm. This is how all these rich people and their small kids behave. They act like they are, the world revolves around them. Thanks. Well, my father seems very... Polite. Seems like a good man. I don't think he would encourage such bad behavior. Mm. Well, you can handle it anyway you deal with it. What's more important for me is um, once you come back at the end of the month, I'm glad the salary is attractive. Yeah. But you know, we can't survive on my salary for too long. I mean, it'd be nice if you found something doing. What exactly is your problem? told you I'm going to get something soon for myself. But it's obvious that you want to get me pissed on purpose. No, 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 no. I just, I mean, you haven't shared any plans with me yet. Don't, don't get upset that I'm just asking. Him. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. Just apologize. You must be very stupid for telling me how to react. It's fine. You can go ahead and eat your food alone since you want to allow me to eat in peace. I said I'm sorry. Yes, I did. I wanted to cross check something. Okay. Um, let me know whatever changes you make so that I can take note of them, please. Okay, that's fine. I only just wanted to cross check something. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Yeah. Wait, um, Tuvi. Um, yeah. Are you. Would, would you. I, I would like. I, I would I would like to know if all the green paint files are in here. Oh, yeah, that's everything. Everything? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bro, you couldn't even ask her out to lunch? Come on. To affect your eardrums? No. Well, you would if you keep watching this this loud. What is wrong with you? 
No, and give that back to me. This is not your house. Oh. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. If you want to control me, just go to your house. Wow. Now, you listen to me, young lady. You know, being this unpleasant is not cute. And you're a cute little girl. She'd be a little bit more respectful. I'll tell my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> This is rather loud. <laughs> Try to convince her. Isn't this rather loud? You should learn to obey Mrs. Onye. Okay? How are you coping? She's a handful, right? I'm I'm fine. She is a handful, but we're fine. Hmm. We're fine. <laughs> it's okay. I made dinner. I don't know. Should I go ahead and serve the table? Oh, that's fine. I'll be down in a minute. Alright. So how's school today? Fine, I scored the highest in my exam. Really? That's my girl. So you're gonna tell me all about it? Sorry, it was a missed out. Oh. Alright, good night then. I hope she's not upset. Oh, Mr. Shadrach, I'm done for the day. Okay, well done. Oh, she's sleeping. Yes, she is. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. We can handle that. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. I know she can be a handful and uh, I honestly don't know where she gets it from. I can handle her. <laughs> <sighs> she's really all that I've got. And I'd like you to treat her like she's your own child. Of course, I will. I mean, install all the good morals that you know that you can. And treat her just like she's your own. You have no morals. I will. Wait up. No, 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 please. Mr. Shedrock, you don't have to. Sorry. Right. Go ahead. Go Thank ahead. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, I think you should uh, be on your way now. It's getting late. Oh, are you sure you don't want me to help with that? Don't worry, it's fine. I'll take care of her. Thank you so much, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night, sir. We switched off. What happened? I'm not a 12 year old. You should have just gone to bed. How? How, how, how could I have been relaxed? I mean, one year my husband is not back. You expect me to be relaxed? No, no. Yeah? Well, you can stop worrying now, okay? Okay, but where have you been? Why are you looking at me like that now? Don't I have the right to know where my husband has been? I was worried. It's obvious you're not ready to go to bed yet. Go serve me my food. Huh? Okay, well, since you don't want to tell me where you've been, you might as well go to the kitchen and get food for yourself. Because I don't know what you want me to do. Okay? You're becoming very disrespectful. Are you talking to me? 
the next time you try this. When you're done trying, go and get my food and set it up again. Rubbish. To your face? Nothing. I just I hit my head. How come? It was just a silly mistake. I I, I was walking and, and and there was no light, so I hit my head. I'm so sorry. I'm sure that must have hurt. It's okay. Thank you. Have you taken medication for it? No, not yet. But but I will. I'll, I'll get some painkillers and and an ointment to just help. Okay. I'll give you money to take care of that. No, okay? no, no. You don't have to. Honestly. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're my staff. And as long as you're here, you're under my care. Please be more careful next time. Yeah. I mean, you almost missed hurting your eye by a little chance. Thank you. All right. Why are the children's books, please? Oh, well, I think they're in the other room. Would you like me to go get you one with lots of pictures in it? No, thank you. I'm sure I can manage. <laughs> you are brilliant. Wow, you are a phenomenal actor. I mean, I, I love the movie Matilda. It was very interesting. I didn't know before entering my room. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Guilty as charged. I didn't know you liked to act. It's none of your business. Well, I like to act too. You know, back then in university, I was doing a lot of drama. I even became popular. I don't care. And what's I really doing in my room anyways? Well, it's breakfast time and your father is already at the dining table waiting for you. I don't know why I keep on having to wait things for me. <laughs> You know what, let me call you back. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Shadrach. How are you? I'm good. Um, oh. is, um, are you okay? Yes, I am. And yourself? I'm fine. I, I just wanted to apologize about last night. Oh, that's not a problem. It was a mistake and I understand. Okay? Wait, wait. Um... You want to say something? Yeah, you, you smell nice. I, I, I really like your perfume. Okay. But I'm, I'm not wearing any today.
はい。おう。シャフク。Yeah. はい。はい。I was, I was just coming to, to your office to see you. Okay. You want anything? Um, no. So, yes, yes. Um, I, I, I kind of lost my pen. So, I was wondering if I could borrow yours. Oh, okay, sure. I will just、um, go in and get you my. Wait. Isn't that your pen? My, my pen? Yes. I mean, it's right there. It's just in your. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't realize my pen was here.、Um, I'm so sorry to bother you, okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, s h e t t e r I'll leave. Hold on. Is, is everything okay? No, everything is fine. I'll leave now. Thank you. Thank you. She's my nanny. Don't be offended. You both look alike. My apologies. Okay, it's fine. Oh, say bye. Bye. Okay, see you soon. Did you hear what she said? She said we look alike. That means you and I could be very different. No. Yes, we don't look alike. Come on, you have to go out. We could be best of friends. Maybe you should have the best time. You know what? Um, I think you should get yourself a glass and pour yourself some. Oh, no, no. I'll just pass. Come on, you work too hard. You should treat yourself sometimes. Well, it's not that. I, I don't drink red wine. You don't drink red wine? No. But why? Health condition. I hope it's nothing serious. No, it's, it's nothing serious. I just need to avoid the triggers. Avoid the triggers? Sorry,、mm -hmm. what are we talking about here? I have genetic deficiency, G6PD. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing serious. I just need to avoid the triggers. Oh, and red wine is one of the triggers. Exactly. Right. Yes. Okay, just out of curiosity, what happens if you don't avoid it? Well, I may get nauseous.、Uh, I have dark urine. I,、um, I would have pale skin.、So. Really? And you can't cure them? No. No, I can't. Wow. Okay. Cheers. Maybe go to the refrigerator and see what is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shedra. All right. Thank you.、Thanks. Enjoy. w h a 
Christ there and I'll be like that. Good morning. I slept on the couch. And you have my space. Space? What's in space from your wife? Martin, please talk to me. What has changed? Because you've been different. You now go out, stay late. Sometimes you don't even come back. You don't talk to me. You don't even touch me. Did I do something wrong? What's the point? I mean, what is there any use in touching you? What where we know no good comes out from me? That's an insensitive thing to oh, say. Oh, please. All these years, no child. The one you managed to carry for nine months died barely five minutes after you gave birth. The second one, you miscarried just after three months. And this is my fault. You want to blame me for this? No, it's my fault. It's my fault. Look, I don't have any for this thing now, okay? Please. Okay, just hold on, hold on, hold on. I know why you're acting like this. It's because you want to be a father. But then how do we achieve this if we don't make moves? There are no moves I'll make that can get you pregnant to me. Read my lips. You're no longer fatal. Don't forget it. Honey, but I asked you what you wanted. You said you wanted to fries for lunch. You should know this by now. I don't want rice. I want noodles. Okay. Okay, babe. How about we do this? You have this rice now. It's really yummy. Trust me. And then later I'll make you noodles. I want noodles now. Why would you do this? It's your job cleaning. Sit. Sit down, young lady. This bad behavior ends today. Take this and clear this off. No. Yes. No. Yes. This is my father's house. You don't pay the bills. You don't pay the rent. I am my father's own. Don't make me get mad at you. Listen to me. If you don't clear this up, I'll have you kneel and raise your hand for one hour. Good. That's exactly what I thought. Go ahead. Tell him. What's going to continue to be such a sports brat? And you know the next time you throw away your food, you're not going to have any meal until the next meal. If it's the next meal, at least I'll have the food. You Don't tell someone you can make it to go and do. Just give it to me. The next time you feel bad about something, you don't have to be this aggressive. Just tell me and I'll understand. Well, I'm sorry for yelling. Don't touch me. Why can't you just stick with one emotion? Just... It's never gonna learn. It's not gonna learn. It's not going to learn. Hey, baby. Why are you frowning? Auntie Nini is mean. She's mean? Did she beat you? No, she made me sweep the food I poured yesterday. You poured food? How come? I didn't want jollof fries, so I threw it on the floor and she made me clean it up. 
serves you right. You shouldn't be throwing food on the floor. Okay? And that doesn't make Mrs. Oyinye mean. Okay? She's only trying to teach you to be a good kid. And good kids do not pour food on the floor. But I'm a good kid. Of course you are. So you should be thankful to her. Okay? Come in. Okay, you sir. Thank you. You're done? Yes, sir. She likes my favorite movie too. Oh, she does? You see? You guys like the same things. You should be friends. The food was really so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. What did you say? You seem disturbed. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. You look unhappy. Is anything the problem? No, I, I, I was just planning activities in my head. That's all. And then I got carried away. Oh, okay. Um, the food was good. I and Christabel enjoyed it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you both enjoyed it. Okay, I would like to ask you something. Okay. I know this is not a good business, but I just want your advice. Okay, what's that? How do you tell someone you like them? Well, I, I think you just tell me, sir. Well. You know, since my wife passed away, I've not really been with anyone. And I find it hard to sweep a woman off her feet. Oh, I see. Okay, well, how about you express yourself through gifts? Yeah, buy her stuff she would like. Flowers, jewelry, perfumes. Okay, I, I can see that, that. Yeah, and then maybe you can add a love note since you just can't say it. Uh... I think I'll stick to the gifts. You know, I don't know how it'll look if she rejects my notes. Oh, so the, the problem is the fear of rejection. Maybe. <laughs> well, so I think it's better to just go through the risk of getting what you want than going through the torture of imagining it's yours. Honestly, if you don't go for her, someone else might. Hmm. Okay, then. Thank you. You're I see you're on your way out. Don't worry, it's fine. I'll oh, talk no, to you. No, it's okay. I was just going for lunch. I have a few minutes to spare. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that? Yeah, so uh, I went out with uh, Christabel to get some things. Okay. And I saw a few nice things and I thought I should get them for you. For me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. So thoughtful. Oh my god, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds so good. Wow. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm happy you like the gifts. Yeah, this was very, very thoughtful. Thank I, you. I'm glad you liked it. I uh, love them. I'll be going upstairs now. Sorry, I'm, I have a call. Oh. Yeah. You can just. Hello? Hold on. Hello? So, 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 I'm so sorry. Just... Yeah, yeah, I'm coming up now. I'm coming up.
Yes, it has. Today makes it hard. Right? And your boss hasn't paid you yet? Um, he has. Mm -hmm. um, when did we get to this one? So we've gotten to a point where you get paid and you don't tell me. Oh, no, well, I understand. After all, you're the one who earns the salary now. So. Right. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I forgot. Yes. But that's exactly what it is. Since you won't tell me when you're paid and you won't give me your salary. I mean, you're waiting for me to start begging you for money. No, of course not. I, I'll do the transfer to you right away. I'm so sorry. I, I apologize. I've sent it. <laughs> oh, come here. I'm not trying to hurt you. Yes. Listen, I know you behave like this because we don't have any children. But we haven't made love in months. How are we going to have children? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. We'll have some shit up tonight. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we need. Sorry, we don't want to be late for work. Um, please, if you can transfer me some money so I can cook. Okay, yeah, no problem, I'll do that. Alright, yeah. All right. bye. See you later. Hello, baby. Stop complaining. I'll send you some money. How are the boys? How are you and the boys? Yeah, I miss you too. I'll come see you today, okay? No worries. All right. It was too late to come home. Okay, okay so where did you sleep? I mean, these days I don't even know your whereabouts. And your phone was switched off as usual. That's not important. It's not important. You, you, you don't think I deserve to know your whereabouts? I'm your wife, for God's sake. Not my bodyguard. Are you having an affair? What nonsense accusation is that on you? Are you out of your mind? Right? Yes! I'm out of my mind. I'm, I'm going crazy with the way you treat me. You treat me so badly. You've just changed. I don't even feel loved anymore. That's because I don't love you anymore. Why would you say this? And yes, 
I'm filing for a divorce. No, 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 wait, wait. Not in story. It hasn't got into that. I'm sorry I questioned you, right? Well, the divorce, no, please. We would fix it. Whatever the issue is, we would, we would fix it. That's what couples do. Really? Yes. Really, Oye? I don't have use for you anymore. Can't you see that? You can't give me children. What use do I have for you anymore? See, You're listen. burning. Keep trying. Martins, we will try. You can't just leave me. What do you want me to do without you? You got that out. Something? Huh? Christabel, what, what do you want? Do you need me to... Are you hungry? Are you bored? What do you want? You... Oh, you want us to go play games? Okay, let me just finish this up and then we can go watch a movie together. Okay? It's for me. Why are you crying? Crying? I'm not crying. Dust just... Dust enter my eyes, that's all. Then why are you crying? It's okay. I think I'm, I'm not crying. All right? Don't I cry because I don't want to be your friend? Please don't cry anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not because of you. I'm not crying. It's just adult stuff. You won't understand, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. Don't tell your dad about this. Promise? Promise. Thank you, promise? Thank you, promise. <laughs> so what? Are we friends now? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Let Auntie clean this up. Or do you want to help? You will help? <laughs> wow, high five. Yeah, don't worry. You and the boys are moving once I've gotten rid of them. Of course. I need you guys here too. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just that I still need her somehow. You know, I still don't have a job and that gig has not pulled through yet, so. No, no problems. No other. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll call you it. Good evening. Can we please talk? Okay, um, I... I know how things have been going recently. God, please. Please do not let him leave me, please, I beg you. Oh, oh God. Oh, 
Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Tumi. Here to see Shedra. Okay, I'll just turn you. Thank you. Hey, have you, have you seen? Goodness. Tumi. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, good, thank you. I was just within the neighborhood and thought I'd stop by, you know, see how the how the day's going. Okay. Um please. Yeah, please do sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, can I get you some Oh no, thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I'll excuse you, Joe. Thank you. That that's a really nice outfit. Thank you. Auntie Toby! Oh my baby! <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Mm. Look at you, look how grown you've become. Oh? And I love you. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Thank you. No, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I love your hands. <laughs> Do you need something? Hey, um, yeah, I was uh, looking for um, trying That's to. That's her, right? Who? The girl you like. How did you know? Your look gave it away. You looked pretty obvious around her. Was it that obvious? Mm -hmm. I mean, the way you smiled as soon as she walked in. I, I think she likes you too. How do you know that? Think about it. It's a public holiday, but she decides to come here. She could have been anywhere else. She came here. She definitely likes you. Well, she said she was around the neighborhood and she decided to drop by. That's, that's what she said. <laughs> I'm a woman. That's what I'll say. Why don't you just tell her how you feel? Tell her? Yes. Oh, this is not the perfect time for that. When is the perfect time? When? Just express yourself to her. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot. Good. It'll be fine. <laughs> Ooh, I love your nails. Thank you. Where did you do them? Hmm. Where did you go? How many sevens do you? <laughs> Anyways, tell me about you. New friends at school? I have a lot, but sometimes you get a big fight. I know! Christabel? <laughs> Come on, let's go play a character in the Matilda movie. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Let's play that. Yeah. So we do Let's do that. Oh, it's such a good Matilda? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> She, she seems like a really cool person. Yeah, and, and she's hardworking too. Um, so you, you wanted to say something to me the other day, the day you brought the presents. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, there's something I'd like to tell you, and quite frankly, I don't, I don't know how you're going to take it, um, but I, f I feel I must tell you. I, I want to know if maybe you... I want to know if... You're going to take the promotion at the office. That's it. Seriously. 
What? What are you doing? Leaving. But, but you just got here. Please, Shadrach. Do not call me anymore if you're going to tell me it was only a mistake. And don't give me presents if you know they don't, they don't mean anything to you. Perhaps I misunderstood all of those actions. Toby, wait. Toby. Toby. I'm in love with you. I just don't know how to tell you. Oh, I am in love with you too. Shadrach, I... I've been waiting for you to say this. In fact, I've, I've flashed all the green lights in the world just so you can look I feel the same way. Maybe I'm just colorblind. You didn't like the chalky, did you? Oh, so you thought you were going to pay me back, right? <laughs> Let's see. Well, watch me pay you back, young lady. For what, Miss Transworld? For the news, you piss worm. But I'm telling you, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are just so good. I mean, you, you're a phenomenal actor. You know, sometimes you remind me of me. I was so passionate about acting. And then I was about to feature in a very big film project before I stopped. Why did you stop? Well, um, I guess we make sacrifices for the people we care about. <laughs> oh, but you, you, my darling, you are a star. And I'm sure your father is very proud of you. And my mom is so watching me in heaven. Yes, I'm sure she's proud. And I'm sure you took after her. You want to see her? Yes, please. Let's see. This is your mom. Yes, do you know her? Were you born on the 27th of September? Yes, September 27, 2017. Wow. She didn't reject you after all. Happy you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm grateful for your help. Always here to help, sir. Okay, so um, me and Toby will be going on a date tomorrow after work, oh, and I'll be back late. So I was wondering if you could spare an extra hour to take care of Christabel. Gladly. I'll gladly do that, sir. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. I see the both of you are bonding. Get oh, it? Yes, so oh, she's a sweetheart. And she's a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I know she started putting you in her cartoon characters, making you play out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she has. She has. That reminds me. I I saw a picture of your late wife. You know, I used to know her. Deborah. Wow. Yeah. You did? Yes. Uh, we went to Antenatal together at the same place in Kokori, St. James Hospital. In fact, we were due for labor 
same time. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and here you are taking care of a child. Yeah. Such a small world. Small world. I'm sorry, I never knew you had a child of your own. Oh, I don't. I don't. Um, he didn't survive. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, it was very painful. Carrying a child for nine months and then losing the child in the end. But it's okay. We've passed it. It's been many years. So. <sighs> You're a really strong woman in here. Your husband must be really proud of you. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, um, I would retire now. Don't wait a day. Okay, thank you again. My pleasure, sir. Good night. Nothing. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 know, I know it's wrong, but I apologize. Please, I, I just wanted to look, look through what you want. What? Let this be the last time that you try to touch my phone. To your face, who hit you? Did someone hit you? Does your husband know about this? Did your husband hit you? Oh my god! Why don't you get him arrested? Please, no, Mr. Shadrach, no, please. He, he, it, was, it was my fault. I went through his phone. You are going through his phone, and that gives him the liberty to hit you when he wants to. He's not business. I, I, I caused it. He, there is no justification for violence. No man should ever hit his wife. So what is this? You mean to tell me that the other time you said you hit your your face on the wall? Was that him too? It was my fault. I, he pushed me, and I hit my head. It, was, it wasn't him. Why are you making excuses for him? Your husband seems like a very violent and abusive person. And I advise that no one should remain in an abusive marriage. My husband is divorcing me. He, he, he wants to leave me because I, I can't bear him children. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that.
Hey, you see, you see when I had a bit of us. I thought I was bluffing. How, how, how did we get here? How? Martins, Martins, please, I still love you very much. I don't want this to happen. I know. I know it's taking time for us to have children. We just have to keep trying. Martins. I'm done trying, okay? I'm done trying. Is that the reason? Are you leaving me because you think I can't have children for you and stay out of this? You can think whatever you want to think, okay? All I know is you have a few months to figure yourself out and leave my house. Our house? Not just this is our house. Would you want me to go? How do you want me to survive without you? Please don't send me away, Martins, please. I don't know how I would cope. I beg you. Don't shatter me like this. I beg you. Please, Martins. If it's our fight, I forgive you. Please don't do this to me. I don't know what I'll do, Martins. <laughs> It was really fun, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> hey, thanks for agreeing to spend the weekend. Mm, of course. I mean, I couldn't think of a better way to spend the weekend than with you and Bella. Hmm. You know, ever since Deborah left, and I didn't think I was going to find anyone else. Not until I met you. And the whole office employment thing was actually for my sake, so. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that there's a child in the picture, and you still decided to stay with me, means a lot because Mom. I know women will not want to deal with that kind of baggage. <laughs> Christabel is such a sweet child. Plus, I love you too much to even think about the fact that you already have a child. You know, you have the best thing that's ever happened to me lately, right? I know. Thank you, Wei Wei Lu. You did feed me, Wei Wei. Thank you. You know, say love me is this thing. Now, Oga. Oga Shedra. Yes. And every day, I thank God for you. And I thank God for you too. You really feel to feed me. Thank you. No way. No way. You say you and this girl resemble Wei Wei. I will personally never tell you. You know, say if I know this day for you, I for don't see ah, my you be her mama. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Supreme Beauty, it's bright and early. It's time for you to wake up. Good morning. Good morning, my princess. Why are nights only so brave? Well, I wish they were longer too. Get up, we need to get you ready for school. Okay? All right, let me warm your water up. Okay. Let you get up, okay?
perfect. So much for that to watch. I'm sorry, let me go first. No, 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 it's fine. Is your urine usually that dark? Sometimes, but not all the time. Do you feel pain in your tummy when you eat beans or certain kind of food? Not all the time. Antonia, am I sick? No, 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 of course not. You're not. I'll just talk to your dad about it, okay? All right, get up. Let's get you ready. Hey, sweetie. Pack your bags and move in already. We both miss you. But you saw me at the office just yesterday. It doesn't matter. I want to see you every day when I wake up. I want you to be by my side. I want to marry you to me. Marry me. <laughs> I'm serious. No, you're not. Yes, I am serious. I'll call you back, okay? He has come in. Good morning, Mr. Shedra. Good day, Nye. Can I help you? No, no, no um, I mean, yes. I, I wanted to ask a question concerning Christopher. Okay. I wanted to ask, have you noticed her react to fava beans or any kind of food? Fava beans? I only just buy it because her mom likes it. Did Christopher react to it? Yes. Yes, she did. And you, you, you don't react to it? No, I don't. I don't even like it. Is Christopher okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, she's, she's fine. It's just the beans isn't good for her. I, I, I just know you haven't noticed. Okay, noted. Yes, that will be Sorry, um, are you okay? Is everything fine? Does he still hit you? Well, he, uh, he's bent on divorcing me. He already put the papers, but I just haven't signed them. <sighs> You deserve better than someone who hits you with every opportunity he gets and still wants to divorce you because you haven't conceived. Oh, where do I start from? I mean, it's been 10 years of marriage. How do I start all over? No child, no husband. Excuse me. It's about the it's about the divorce. I mean, you just don't even bother. Just sign the papers and let's go as it is, okay? It's not about that. Then what is it? It's about my boss's daughter. How is that my business? I know this this may sound ridiculous. But what if she's our child? Your boss's daughter, our child. Are you high on something? Have you ever given birth to a girl before? Is this your mom? No, she's my nanny. Don't be offended. You both look alike. <laughs> so you and this girl resemble me. Ah, I will personally never tell you. You know, say if I know this thing for you, I for don't say ah, are you be her mama? 
How does this make sense to you? So because some people think you look alike, it now means that someone's child is yours? Not just that. She was born the same day I gave birth. Her mother and I went into labor the same time. You know her mother? I just saw her picture recently. We went to the same Martina and teenager at Kokori. She even came sympathized with me after I had lost my child. She was the woman that gave me money back then. It still doesn't make sense. She was just being sympathetic, you know? That child has glucose deficiency, just like me. And you know it's genetic. None of her parents have this deficiency. <sighs> okay. Have you thought about it this way? Maybe the woman was promiscuous and the man is not her father. Have you considered that possibility? What if the babies were swapped? Have you considered that possibility? Hmm. That's the only one way to find out. We would need to do a DNA test. <laughs> you and I know we can't afford that. It's too expensive. You can ask your boss for a loan. I'm sure he'll help, you know? I just need of some money, sir. So I was hoping you could pay me two to three months of my salary. Advance payment. How much are you looking for? About 400,000. Okay, I'll send you the money. To the same account, right? Yes, thank you so much, sir. All right. And I won't be taking it from your salary. Consider it a gift. What? Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I, I appreciate this from, from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me. I appreciate this, sir. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know you deserve everything because you're a good person. And I like how you take care of my daughter. Like she's so it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll do the transfer as soon as I get to the office. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir.
these are Crystal Bell's items. I can't explain. I, I can't explain. Sir. What are you doing with them? I, 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 I don't have any. I, I don't have any evil intentions. I just, uh, I just want to clear, clear my doubts, my, my suspicions. That's all. What suspicions? Sorry. What are you using my daughter's belongings for? I'm so sorry. I apologize, but the thing is, Christabel, Christabel. Christabel might be my child. Is this some kind of a joke? I know this sounds crazy, but I, but I, but I have a, a lot of clues that have led me to this suspicion. What stupid clues? She was born on the same day I gave birth. You told me your son was dead. Yes. Yes. I know, I know this, this sounds crazy. It sounds absurd. But there is the possibility that my child is not dead. They might have swapped the babies. <laughs> Are you sick in the head? It's G6PD. That is a genetic deficiency that only a parent can transfer to their child. Neither you or your wife have this deficiency. If your wife had it, she would have avoided father kids. I have this deficiency. Do you just need to do a DNA test so I can clear your suspicions, please? That's all I'm asking. You mean you were going to do a DNA test behind my back? Who are you? What are you doing in this house? Sir, I have no intentions. I have everything. I came here with the purest of intentions, sir. Please. Daddy, I'm getting late for school. Daddy, can't you find your phone? Christopher, go and wait for me in the car. Okay? I'm sorry. I know how this is. Lee, I want you out of here immediately. I will send you the text of the hospital so you can get your DNA test done. And God help you that you are wrong. Sorry. I said leave here. I no longer need your services. Leave! What if I'm wrong? We'll find out soon enough. I don't think you are, though. I saw the striking resemblance between you and the girl. Can't even imagine how Mr. Shadrack feels right now. I'm sure he feels betrayed. I'm sure he feels like I'm stabbing him right in the back. I mean, maybe I should have just spoken to him about my suspicions. But how? I don't... They are capable of swapping newborn babies. Do you know what else he's capable of doing? I don't think he was a part of this. Mr. Shedrak is a good man. Honestly, I don't think he knows what happened at the hospital that day. Only well, speak for yourself. It's not like we really know these people. Hmm. If it's true that the child is our biological daughter, then this is my ticket to wealth. <laughs> hmm. Look, we'll find out soon enough, okay? Hmm? Okay. I can't believe she would do this. I trusted her. I thought she was a good person. I took her like a sister. I, I think I would have done the same if I were in her shoes. She's only a curious woman who was trying to be sure. Yeah, she didn't do anything wrong in my opinion. She was going to take my daughter for a DNA test behind my back. Is that right? Look, I understand. Okay, I understand exactly how you feel. But... To be honest, what should she have done? Should she have come to you to say, 
Excuse me, Mr. Shadrach, I think your daughter is mine. <laughs> of course not. Look, she was only trying to be sure. Christabel is not hers. I know that for a fact. She and her husband are just crazy people who would do anything to lay claims on my daughter. And all because of some filthy coincidence. Um, well, let's just, let's just hope and pray to God that they're actually wrong. I know for a fact that you're wrong. <laughs> Daddy, when is Antonia coming back? Um, <clears throat> my darling, we do not know that yet. Okay, but don't worry about it. Daddy will get you another nanny if she doesn't come back. All right? Another nanny? <laughs> Aunt Antonia, I miss her. Um. Mm. That smells so yummy, right? Would you like some? I would definitely serve you some, okay? It looks so nice, right? Of course, I'm gonna give you some. That's my girl, I'll take this. <laughs> so don't worry about it, all right? We won, babe. Victory is ours. We won. <laughs> oh, tears of joy. I get. Let it pour, okay? Okay? My child died. I thought my child died. Oh God. How can someone be so selfish? Why? It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. At least the good thing you know that the child is ours. She's our child. Hmm? Rather than crying, you should be jubilating. Jubilating about. About someone else's pain. That man loves that girl with his life. How? He doesn't deserve this. Really? So we're the ones who deserve this. They took her child and swapped her for a dead one. That's the height of wickedness. My daughter doesn't even know me. And she knows you as her nanny, instead of her mother. Anyways, the truth never stays hidden forever. One day it comes out, we know that. I'm just so happy that the truth is out and we have a daughter together. We have a child. We have a child. Oh, no. I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay? I don't know what got into me. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Okay? 
Hmm? We'll go pick up our child tomorrow before he looks it up, okay? I don't think he'll... Stop vouching for anyone! Stop vouching for him! Stop... You... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you like that. I'm sorry. But you have to stop vouching for him. You can't vouch for anyone. Look, if he decides to elope with our child tomorrow, you will never set eyes on her again. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? I thought as much. Oh, go there tomorrow. Just come. I'm sorry I won't let you. I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. How could Deborah do this to me? She swapped that child for another woman's own. This is just so sad. I mean, apparently, it was your child that passed. We were together for seven years until she could conceive. The doctor said she had a slight chance. But I would have sworn she would never do this. I'm guessing she she did it out of desperation. She probably just couldn't bring herself to to tell you that the child passed. There is no excuse for such wickedness. There is absolutely no excuse. I know. Okay, but... Look. Look, I'm not saying that she did the right thing. You came far from it. But I don't want you to beat yourself up. My daughter is not mine. I have loved and cared for her after all these years. And now they want to take her away from me. It's okay. You are fine. She's all that I have. I know. Trust me, I know. I work so hard. So hard because of her. And now she's not mine. Where are you taking her to? To her room. No, please. I, I, I can't take my, my eyes off her. Not even for a second. 
I understand exactly how you feel. But I won't come and steal her from here. Okay, please, just let me take her to bed. Belle. Belle, my darling. Okay. Okay. How can I live with the fact that my daughter is not mine? How? It's hard. Yeah, I know. I want you to know that she might not be your biological child. She's still your daughter. She always would be that. I will not let them have her. Never. Babe, you can't keep her away from them. They are biological parents. I don't care. Her husband cannot be a father to my daughter. He's abusive. And he's violent towards me. I'm afraid of what he's going to do to Christabel. I cannot trust him. So what are you going to do? I'll take them to court. There's no way the court will grant him custody of my daughter. What if they sue you for abduction? Auntie Begin. Deborah stole their child, remember? That was Deborah, not me. But the court doesn't know that. Okay. Look, I know that you're broken right now. But please, do not complicate this. I beg you. I know you love Belle so much. But so does Oye. Okay, don't you even feel pain for her? Don't you feel sad for her? She was separated from her child all this time. Both of you are the victims in this case. Look, Onye will definitely make a good mother for Belle. You know that. But she is in an abusive marriage. I cannot allow a man like that have custody over my daughter. I'm just confused and I don't know what to do. I understand. Look at me. We'll figure this out together, okay? I promise. <sighs>
Food is served. I'm not hungry. Come on. You haven't been eating lately. Okay, you need to eat something. Are you expecting anyone? That's probably them. Onye sent me a text saying that they would like to have a talk. Oh. Okay, I'll just I'll just check it out. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Please come in. Thank you. This is. Thank you. Mr. Shedrack, I, I apologize. I sincerely apologize for how things have turned out. It was not my intentions in any way. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's none of your fault. <clears throat> I'm sure you know why we're here. Why we've come. We're living with our child today. What? I wasn't done talking. You know, Mr. Shedrick, I should sue you for child abduction. You stole my child, and you know that's a criminal offense. I did not steal your child. Wait, why are you- Shut up. Are you on the side of my- As I was saying, Mr. Shepard, I'm a good one. And I won't uh, take this case to court. It's simple. Give us back our child, and you settle us with 20 million. What? You heard correctly. Wait. Can that money sum up the pain you put my wife and I through? You deprived us the chance of knowing our child for years. I'm generous enough. You either settle with us out of court or get ready to rot in jail. Okay, no, stop! This is wrong! Would you shut up or I'll do it with sight? I'm serious, Mr. Shen. All I need to do is take this case to court and you're dead. Mate. So? I'll advise you, think about it properly and settle us with that money. Is this the sort of person you want me to impress Christabel with? He's clearly delusional. What was the meaning of all of that? What was all that drama? What was that? I was only avoiding you hitting me as usual. You disrespected and humiliated me in front of them. But I tried to talk to you calmly. And you, you wouldn't listen. I mean, that was all what we agreed now. We said we were going to plead that he let us... You must be very stupid for thinking that I'm going to beg anyone for my child. She's our daughter. I took care of her. He's taking care of her. He's, he's catered and cared for her for all these years. I mean, yes. Yes, as her biological parents, we have all the rights to her, but he's been her parents all this time. He also has a right to her. It was being unnecessarily emotional. Martin's 20 million. 20 million. Haba, no now. Is that really what our daughter is worth to you? That man has been good to me. I, I won't... Take that money from him. I'm 
sorry. Sorry, I hurt you. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. But I need you to understand, okay? That man will pay this money. Look, aren't you tired of being a maid? Of being a household? Of being a domestic staff? Look at me. I'm jobless. And our daughter has provided our ticket to her. All I need you to do is join me in this. And believe me, he will pay that money. Okay? Yes. Okay? So we good? Yes. We good? Yes. All right. Right down. I'm sorry. Can I see your team? Let me see. Did Wilma go missing? Ah! <laughs> Let me see our team. I'm here. Chris, go upstairs. Okay, bye. 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 Mr. Shedrak, I'm sorry about how everything is happening. None of this was my intention. I know you're very angry at me. I know you're disappointed. I know it looks like I just came out of nowhere and, and, and I came to steal your happiness. I'm really sorry if that's how you feel. I'm not angry at you, Nye. I'm angry at this situation. My husband wants to extort you. He wants to take advantage of the situation and make money off you. But I will not be a party to it. I finally can see that my husband is a very dangerous man. My daughter will not be safe with him. I can't put her in such, in such danger. I'm glad you finally realized this. I have. And I've decided to sign the divorce papers. I will no longer be with such a man. I'm leaving him. And what about Christabel? There's nothing I've wanted more than to be a mother. Finding out that Christabel is my own. That's the greatest joy I've ever felt in my life. But I want the best for her. I want to leave her in your care, Mr. Shedrak. I don't want to expose her. But I need one favor. I would like her to know me as her mother. Please. I will not be able to live with myself if I deprive a child of knowing her own mother. You're a good woman, Oyeye. And I think Christopher will be happy to know that you are her mother. Thank you. Yes, homework's done, right? And we're gonna have a meeting here. Thank you. Hey, baby. How are you today? I'm fine. I have something to tell you. Okay? You see, Mrs. Oyinye here. She's your mom. No. You said my mom is in heaven. You showed me pictures. I know. But that was not your real mom. Mrs. Oyeye is your real mom. So I was inside Auntie Zonye's stomach. Yes. You were in her stomach for all that while. Tell me I don't need to call her nanny. Is that why people say we look alike? Hi. So, 
شو دوز دا مینا کا کویمو یس یس یو کین Mr. Sheriff has pleaded that the 20 million is too much. But he's by getting 10 million naira. Uh, no. No, no. Uh, are you telling me that a man like that does not have 20 million naira? No, he's, he doesn't. He doesn't. In fact, he's even asking that we give him a little time to raise the money. Uh, how much time? Uh, three weeks. Two weeks isn't bad. I can wait. Let's see, eh? I was thinking, hmm? when we collect this money, okay, we will give him some time and then we'll ask for more. And I know he will keep paying because what his wife did is a criminal offense. Yeah, we must stop to our child. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you, why aren't you here with her? This is our home now. She's supposed to be here. Yeah, he asked for more time to be able to break it to her. You know, she's just a child. And you agreed to that? That's the problem with you. You're too soft-hearted. Simply tell the girl you're her mother and her father. That's all. It's not rocket science now. I understand, but it's just three weeks. So I'm sure we can wait. Okay. And the money. And the money. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you did all. You did all. Oh, you're the best. Hmm? Don't worry, eh? Yeah? Once that money comes, you will see how I'll spoil you. Hmm? <laughs> okay? I'm tired. Can I? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That one is not my child as far as I'm concerned. Someone who grew up knowing another man as a father. Ha. As soon as this man pays the 10 million there, I'll first of all divorce this woman, and then you and my boys will move in.
نسيح الناس لاس Yes, come in. Tibby. Hey. Please sit down. Yeah. So how did it go? It was my layer, right? Mm-hmm. I kind of knew it. But don't worry, you'll be fine. Uh, I hope the doctors put you on injections. No. How cool. I thought you preferred injections to medicine. Yeah. But I am... Um... What? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? <laughs> But, I mean, I couldn't keep it to myself. <laughs> oh God, you told me. This is the best thing I've ever heard. I know, we're having a baby. I know. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. Oh. It's okay. Hello? Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine, Th thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're having a baby. <laughs> we're having a baby. <laughs> I need to calm down. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, why can't you follow us? Cool. You know your daddy loves you. I know you might not understand right now, but daddy would love to follow you more than anything in the world, okay? And I know you understand when you grow older. Step, please, daddy, come. Oh, come on, don't be like that. You're going to break my heart if you cry. Bear, my turn. Your daddy and I would definitely try to visit you and your mom before you start to miss us so much. Okay? And daddy's going to video call you every day. You okay? Promise? I promise. I'm going to see her to be real. And I'm sure she can't wait to see you too. She'll take care of you and mommy, okay? Come in. Okay. I hope you have no clue that you're leaving. No, not the slightest. He's at his other family's place. Oh. He didn't sleep at home. He has another family. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's been cheating on me the whole time. He has an entire family outside our marriage. The woman has two kids for him. Oh my God. What a jerk, eh? Um, before you guys miss your flights, do you have their passports? Oh, I'm sure I do. Just to be sure. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jerry. I won't forget you ever in this life. It's okay. We appreciate it. It's fine. Please take care of her, okay? Definitely. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll talk to you soon, okay? You have to leave. Okay. All right. Ah. Baby. I love you too. All right. Do it, mommy. Okay. Yeah. 
Where has she gone to again? Oh, Nye? She signed it. I have finally signed the divorce papers you've always wanted. I hope you throw a party. And just so you know, I have left with our child. I can't bear the risk of trusting her in your care. Mr. Shedrick has already signed a restraining order against you, so for your own good, stay away from him. Extend my greetings to your baby mama and the boys. Your ex-wife, Nini Eze. Shit! Shit! I've been fooled! Damn it! Where do I find this room? Where do I, do I find this room? The hell? It's not like you asked. <laughs> the baby already asked for us. Yes. Uh, you know, I I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I can't wait to spend mine with you.
take this and clear this off. I will not clean it. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. I think the clear in the pita will be our. What is it? Is it not your first day? No. <laughs>